this is a lovely place to stop. Amion. Um, coming through a load of kind of special gardens all the way up here. Tied up on the town quay. No other boats there apart from us. Um, went and did a raid on the supermarket. Probably didn't need to. <laughs> um, anyway, there you go. Lovely, lovely town. We got rid of the trash and the recycling. Um, had a wander around. Never went in the English pub. Um, oh, this is the next morning. Hey ho. <laughs> It was lovely. The um, lock guy told us to go and have oh, a look Oh yeah, around. that's the castle. Steve had been here before, so we uh, chose yeah, not to. It? Zooming along. Really? We're getting the smell of the sea now. Getting very it's near. Wash out. Ben anyway, burst around this corner, nearly yeah, crashed into this lock. Um, they were at lunch. So Steve and I had lunch as well. Quite a nice break. Very nice. Hey, 
Hey. So the guy on the bridge he just put three fingers up and said twat. Now. But of course he meant three more because <laughs> there's four bridges. You've got to put it back now. I think the next one's electric or hydraulic or pneumatic or whatever but that one they're winding it round by hand. Now you can smell the sea. This is definitely salt water. Anyway, So we've done the other three bridges and this is coming up to St Valerie. Um, all the waiting pontoons on the left there are all full. There's a bit of a gap and if a couple of boats moved we could fit but uh, we don't seem to be in the mood to make a gap. So we end up over on starboard on a um, bit of a commercial fishing um, pontoon. On two really, piles on the side of the river. But ahead of us is the sea lock, so this is the end of the sun. Sea lock at St. Valerie. So this is us tied up next to the fishing boat. Steve's been looking for um, a stern light lamp because that was his busted. He's been on the phone to various people, including the marina. They're going to ask the sea lock people when it opens. 
as luck would have it, it's in about 10 minutes. Very lucky. Because I don't fancy staying the night here, because if the other fishing boat turns up, it parks here normally. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it. That's the canals. Done. Thousand miles, 250 locks, resilience bridges, a million fishermen. Fantastic scenery, brilliant experience. Wouldn't change a bit of it. That's it. We're in the sea lock now, hovering. This is the bit in between. Yeah, what do I know? Humongous great area. So that's the lock entrance. And ahead of us is the exit to the sea. And the marina's just beyond. A lot of you already know this. And this is just for my memory down the road. Um, so we hovered here for, I don't know, 15 minutes. It's about quarter to five. Anyway, we'll be hovering for a while. Two of us in the lock, that's the gates closing behind the second one. He's just hovering, same as we are. So that's the entrance to the lock closing, the canal behind it. Lifting bridge in the distance. Yeah. Quart five. Apparently opens at high water, I think. Um, yeah, we got to hover for quite a while. I believe you're going to get the treat of the steam train coming across the bridge in a minute. But we'll, we'll check it out in a sec. There's the steam train pulling the tourists. There's a lot going on in St. Valerie. Having read the literature since we got back, we were too busy to stop, obviously. Anyway, it's quite scenic seeing a train go by. And we're going to go underneath that where it is now, that's where the lock gate is. But these things here to the right, these are just like let the water in and out, but the boats don't go in there. The boats go to the left. Anyway, chip chip. go through those they're just letting equalize in the water so they, they make sure the levels are right off way to the left the last sort of bastion there oh we're through and the marina's here right at the other side 50 meters through that gate 
And it's, uh, what is it now? Half past seven. Half past seven at night. Must be nearly dinner time. I believe it was chilli con carne. The only one's up early, he was up early. Um, Steve's had some inside knowledge from the uh, marina people that we should set off much earlier than high water so that when we get about halfway through the channel it's high water. We don't want high water at the beginning, we want high water in the middle. Anyway that said we're leaving at ten past six according to the plan. It looks like we've set off a bit earlier than that. Ah, unless uh, unless the video camera clock is an hour adrift. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we are just early. I think we are. Anyway, we're tilting up the marina now. Apparently the channel is very well marked. Red and green right. boys. What going on in Saint Valerie? Very pretty place. So I think we get around this corner um, and in about three or four minutes we actually go aground. We don't stop, we keep going but we do touch bottom. See because it's two hours before high really or an hour and a half or something. Not half an hour actually, I think it was. But I was heading over to the, um, to the red marks. <laughs> Steve was downstairs looking at the depth sounder. So it getting shallower, turned away. I didn't know he was steering, so I turned back. <laughs> anyway, confusion over. We uh, we eventually got to on the right side into water and proceeded out the channel.
Well, you can't beat this for a sunrise. How gorgeous is that? Au revoir, France. Thank you very much. It was lovely. Channel awaits. I'm looking forward to getting home. So we're indoors now. No more flybridge. It's very, very choppy in this uh, S3 entrance. Very choppy. Calms down a bit in, in a bit now. Not too bad at all. The Atso boy I think we're looking for. Steve's taking the fenders off. First time in four years they've been off these fenders. I think he took most of them off this early morning when we started to go. Here we are. In the channel proper now. Let's calm down a bit. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Touch wood, everything's ticking over nicely. Lovely.
Well, um, what is it? Half past six. Um, we spotted the island, I think. About two hours away. Um, absolutely beautiful evening. Almost like you know. If you can see Spinnaker Tower over there, but I can't hold the camera still enough for you to get a, a bead on it. So, take my word for it. It's over there. Yeah, shipping legs were alright. Um, the first one was easy peasy, the second one we got a bit close to a boat. Decided to abort and uh, not cross in front of it, cross the stern of it. But no drama. Beautiful sun. We get off with it coming up um, and we're going to end the day with it gone. Quite nice. I think that's one of the queens. I'm trying to zoom in on it, but I still can't read it. I, I still can't read it. Binoculars, Brian. But I might do with binoculars now. Yeah, you might. So let's go. I think um, at that point I stopped recording because we could. We were getting to the forts, and. Uh, I figured that was enough video for this trip. Um, there behind the credits you can see a chart of where we started down in Bezier across to Agde and then up, up the uh, eastern side of France to St Valéry and across the channel and home. Wonderful experience. Thank you very much Steve. Thanks for all the pink stuff and the beers and the uh, driving lessons. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant.